He has 16 hard stints and a pacemaker, but that isn't stopping one man from biking cross country from San Diego to Florida. Bob Quick is making that historic trip with his son in hopes of raising a million dollars for charity. 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha has new details on the biggest challenge they are facing. As Bob Quick and his son Conrad prepared their bikes for this long journey, the 53-year-old appeared cautious but relaxed. I sure hope I can do this. <laughs> We appreciate you coming out, Captain. I mean, yep. this morning, firefighters and other supporters greeted the Utah father and son in Ocean Beach. The two have been training for months, all for a cross country bike ride from San Diego to St. Augustine, Florida. But what makes this journey that much more incredible is that Bob Quick has congenital heart disease. He has 16 heart stents and a pacemaker. His son knows there are limitations, but he believes in his father and the ride they face ahead. He does have 16 stints and a pacemaker, so I'm pretty sure there's going to have to be a couple breaks in it. But besides that, I'm not, no, not worried at all. The biggest challenge? Desert. Because this right here, I'll show you, it really swells up in the desert, in the heat. And it's a big old hunk of metal in there, and it starts getting very, very warm and very, very hot. But Quick's motto is, if you don't believe, you're a fool. He's determined to complete the ride and raise $1 million for several charities. He has a message to those watching his journey. I think I could have changed eating habits 20 years ago, which will really change where I was today. Uh, so hopefully we can get somebody off the couch, get them eating right. If they do have a disability, take their meds, listen to their doctor, and overall exercise. Quick is just happy to be alive to tell his story in the ride of a lifetime. In Ocean Beach, Melissa Masiha, 10 News. Now the two are riding to raise money for several causes, including two Utah hospitals, the Wounded Warrior Fund, and the Roy City Fire Department. That's the same department in Utah that helped save his life several years ago.